Hey, what's up guys? My name is Pete. And I'm Michelle. And we own a small business Fuentes Photo and Video. We specialize in photography and videography for couples. We do engagements, elopements, and weddings primarily. Um, today we're going to be talking about renting camera equipment. Um, and Pete, as our tech guy, is going to be taking over this video and explaining everything about it. Right. So the first thing I want to say is uh, the reason we do rentals is because we're a newer business. We're, we're smaller. We don't have as much uh, capital as uh, other people who are more well established than we are. So the way to get around it for us, if we need a certain piece of equipment that might be a little too, too pricey for us, is by uh, renting it. So the benefits of, uh, of renting it is that, uh, like I said, like I just said, is that it allows you to rent uh, equipment that's out of your budget range. Yes, because cameras and lenses can Especially, get very yeah. expensive, and it's a big investment right in the beginning. Right, and also the other thing is when you're doing a big job at a wedding, you need to have multiple backups. You don't just want to have one one camera or two cameras. Normally, we have about three mm -hmm. uh, cameras on us and a multitude of batteries and uh, a bunch of different lenses. So we specifically get lenses that we really, really need that are very, very uh, not affordable, like the 70 to 200 millimeter lens, for instance. Uh, we run Sony as our as our system. So a Sony G Master 20 to 70 20 to 70 millimeter lens will cost you about two thousand five hundred and ninety eight dollars. Uh, that's pretty pricey if you're just starting off. Yes, definitely. So <laughs> I uh, went ahead and a, I made a log here of the amount of money that you could save potentially by just renting. Mm -hmm. So if you were buying a lens, if you were buying three pieces of equipment that we normally do rent, which would be, I have it here, a Sony a7 III, that would cost you $1,998. Uh, then if you wanted to also buy the lens, as I pre previously mentioned, that would be an extra 2598 And if you wanted a wide-angle lens, like a 16 to 35 millimeter uh, Zeiss F4, uh, that would cost you $1,348. Now, the grand total for that is $5,944. And uh, I'm sorry, but when we first started, we did not have that kind of money just sitting around no for equipment. No way. So, <laughs> We went ahead and factored it out um, and went to borrowlenses.com, which is where we uh, rent our equipment from. And we did a three day rental and our whopping total was only $258.83. And the best part about this guys is that it's a tax write off. So at the end of the year, you can write it off. Yes, definitely. And three day rental is perfect for weddings because usually a wedding is on a Saturday. You can get the equipment on a Friday and return it um, Sunday or even Monday. Um, exactly. So it's perfect. Exactly. And guys, since we also do video, we need to rent even more equipment, uh, more stands, more lights, um, microphones. And uh, sometimes that stuff gets just really, really expensive. Yeah. And uh, you just got to do it, got to work with what you got and uh, rent. So I, I definitely recommend that, especially if you're getting bigger jobs. You don't want to end up having a 200 person wedding and one of your cameras failing. Mm -hmm or you don't want to be short on batteries. Yeah. Uh, you also don't want to have, you want to have the right lenses. Um, I prefer, I love the 70 to 200 um, because it allows me to get further away and not be so intrusive. Um, the only issue I don't like about the 70 to 200, the one, the G Master Sony one, is because it's very, very heavy. And that, yeah, like, and somebody, Michelle's only like 530 tiny. That lens is a 3.5 pound lens, and that gets extremely heavy after a while. Yeah, after an eight-hour wedding, right, definitely. Especially around your neck. <laughs> so um, there's also alternatives as well, guys. Um, you you just want to basically rent for now until you build up your uh, your income. So guys, you don't want to overspend on equipment at the beginning. I know it's tempting. You do not want to do that because you do not know how well your business is going to do within the next six months to, to a year to two years. You don't know. Um, lucky for us, we've had a good amount of business coming in, so we've been able to slowly, gradually um, increase our equipment and the quality of our equipment, and it's only going to get better from there. So the whole point is don't be afraid to, to, uh, to rent stuff. Um, it's insured as well. You, you pay for insurance when you when you get it. Don't worry about it. Um, do it if you're going to get a job. If somebody wants to work with you, do it. I, I recommend.
recommend you to definitely get that rental so you don't lose that job. You don't want to lose that opportunity just because you don't own that piece of equipment. And like I said earlier, you can write it off. It's, I think it's a win-win personally. Definitely, so. but it's not a long-term solution. So right. that's another thing. Um, right. We are newer photographers, we're in our first year. We're not gonna be wanting to rent equipment for our entire career because after It'll a while, up. yeah, it adds yeah. up and you end up spending more than you would if you actually just bought the equipment. So that's why we really stress like the importance of doing this in the beginning of your business. Right, right. so that you can build up a reputation so you can solidify your name so that uh, people will actually want to work with you and trust you. So yeah guys, we're pretty much at the point where we've made a little bit of money where we've been able to get a few lenses that we really uh, like for weddings like the 85mm 1.8, the Sony, and the Tamron 28-75mm. Uh, to 75mm. Those have been our go-tos for, for weddings. We really want to get our hands on that new Tamron 70-180. Uh, to 180. That just came out and I believe it's about $1,200 and that's a huge saving in comparison to the uh, the $2,598 uh, uh, Sony G Master. So yeah guys, I hope you liked the video, so uh, please like uh, and subscribe, and uh, comment down below if you have uh, anything else to say that maybe we didn't get to. So. Yeah, do you have any tips about renting camera equipment that we didn't say? Please right. leave it below in the yeah, comments. Yeah, absolutely. If you guys know of, a, of another renting service that charges even less where you can save some more money, go ahead and put it in the comments. Yes, definitely. So, all right, well, it was nice, guys. See you later. Bye.